Welcome to Tita Talks. My name is Sonia Tita and I'm your host. It is a great privilege and pleasure to welcome back Balgeen Axel. I'm grateful that today we have the honor of interviewing the visionary founder of Global Wellness Day from Istanbul, Turkey, and also the mother of Gianni, her 21-year-old son. Nesselson. İyiyim, çok teşekkür ederim. Sen nasılsın? Begun burada olgudun inçi çok teşekkür ederim. Ben teşekkür ederim. Perfect, perfect. Çok teşekkür ederim. Global Wellness Day is an entirely non-for-profit day dedicated to living a healthy lifestyle and embracing wellness and is celebrated on the second Saturday of June every year. In this year, that is Saturday, the 8th of June, 2024. It is celebrated in seven continents and in over 170 countries around the world. In this episode, we will delve into the theme, hashtag Magenta Nature, and its significance for Global Wellness Day 2024. We will discuss how connecting with nature can positively impact physical, mental, and spiritual health, as well as the transformative potential of incorporating wellness practices into our daily lives. Join us as we explore the mission of Global Wellness Day, the importance of hashtag Magenta Nature, the movement, and the ways in which individuals can prioritize well-being. And stay tuned as we ask Belgine insightful questions about her personal journey, the Global Wellness Day Seven Step Manifesto and the Key Pillars of a Healthy Lifestyle. Let's discover together how one day can truly change our whole lives as we talk about today, the Global Wellness Day 2024. Welcome, Belgin. Belgin, you believe that living well is a necessity for every human being on the planet, that's 8 billion people. In 2012, after having asked yourself, if health is one of the most important issues in our lives, then why do we still not have a special day dedicated to living well? You launched Global Wellness Day and each year you have a theme. Hashtag Magenta is at the heart of this year's Global Wellness Day 2024 and revolves around the central idea of connecting with nature. Science-based research shows and highlights the crucial role of nature in promoting overall well-being. The theme this year, hashtag Magenta Nature, draws inspiration from the harmonious connection between nature and the positive impact it has on our health. We call upon Wellness Day's ambassadors, volunteers, and individuals worldwide. How can you shed light on how the theme, uh, can you shed light on how the theme underscores the significance of rekindling our bond with nature for the betterment of our well-being? Well, the theme Magenta Nature for Global Wellness Day 2024 underscores the profound importance of reconnecting with nature for overall well-being. Mm. And at its core, Magenta Nature encapsulates the belief that a harmonious connection with the natural world is indispensable for holistic wellness. And it emphasizes that nature is not merely a physical space, but an immersive experience that deeply nourishes our physical, mental, and spiritual health. And in the wake of the pandemic and uh, global challenges, such as economic uncertainties and conflicts, the theme acknowledges the complexities of our shared existence. 
And it also highlights the inherent power within individuals to affect transformative change, particularly through rekindling their relationship with nature. So by embracing hashtag magenta nature, Global Wednesday encourages people to prioritize spending time in natural environments and recognizing the inherent healing and rejuvenating properties they offer, whether through activities like hiking, gardening, or simply immersing oneself in the beauty of the outdoors and reconnecting with nature becomes a pivotal aspect of self-care and well-being. And Magenta Nature serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness between human and the natural world. It prompts individuals to cultivate a deeper appreciation for the environment and to become stewards of the planet, contributing to its preservation for future generations, I would say. I think that sort of answers my next question, which was going to be, how does engaging with nature contribute to nurturing physical, mental, and spiritual health, according to the message of Global Wellness Day? But maybe you mm. could, if, there's, if there was anything else you wanted to add to that. Well, engaging with nature, as highlighted by the message of Global Wellness Day, offers a multifaceted approach to nurturing physical, mental, and spiritual health. Yes. Physically connecting with nature encourages the consumption of natural foods, rich in nutrients and vibrant colors, which nourish both the body and soul. And choosing locally sourced organic options not only supports personal well being, but also promotes environmental sustainability. And spending time outdoors allows individuals to engage in physical activities, such as, like I said, walking and hiking or simply enjoying the fresh air, which contributes to overall physical health and our vitality. Mentally, nature serves as a sanctuary for relaxation and rejuvenation, at least for me. And immersing oneself in natural settings provides an opportunity to escape the stresses of daily life and recharge and reconnect with the world around them whether in a lush forest or serene park, nature offers a tranquil environment conductive to mental well-being. And integrating moments of stillness is in, in, in natural settings fosters introspection and inner peace, nurturing mental clarity and emotional balance. And spiritually, I would say nature is revered as a sacred space for connection and, again, introspection, recognizing the intrinsic connection with the natural world fosters a sense of oneness with the earth and promoting spiritual growth and self-discovery by aligning one's spirit with the rhythm of nature, individuals embark on a journey of inner harmony and profound connection with the universe. In essence, engaging with nature facilitates a holistic approach to wellness and nurturing physical, mental, and spiritual health while fostering a deeper appreciation for the environment and our interconnectedness with the natural world. I love that. I love that. I think that there's been almost like a renewal for people's appreciation of nature since it's been mm -hmm. so... For forever and ever since the beginning of time, True. I think True. people, uh, you know, sort of naturally had that connection and understood the connection our, that our human souls have with nature. And now all of these various, various facets that we discuss here, people are really beginning to appreciate and, and, and find totally. understanding, right? I agree. <laughs> Can you elaborate on your personal journey and what inspired you to establish Global Wellness Day as a platform promoting well-being and self-care practices? And what continues to inspire you as well? Well, in 2004, I faced significant health challenges that prompted me to make profound changes in my life. And through this journey, I discovered the vital equilibrium between health and happiness or let's say health and joy 
Witnessing the transformative impact of these changes ignited a passion within me to take action. And this transformative journey began with a simple yet profound question. While living well is the common dream, why don't we have a globally dedicated to uh, dedicated day to living well? And with this question driving me, I embarked on the mission to establish Global Wellness Day and extend its influence worldwide. I am a strong advocate of the understanding that living well is the simple necessity for every human being on the planet and that wellness is not a luxury, but the inherent right of every individual. I'm, I'm sure you've heard me saying that before. Yes, I love My goal that. with Global Wellness Day was to create a day that would empower individuals and communities to prioritize their well-being and embrace positive lifestyle choices. Mm-hmm. And my ultimate aim for Global Wellness Day is to foster better lifestyles for individuals and societies. And importantly, while the event spans just 24 hours, its message is timeless. The day Global Wellness Day gains recognition on the United Nations official calendar will mark a personal triumph for me, and it will signify a milestone where our collective commitments to well-being becomes a legacy celebrated by generations to come. Yes. Oh, so Global Wellness Day, before we go on to the next question, Global Wellness Day 2030, what does that look like for you? Well, uh, it looks like... um, the day that uh, by 2030, I'm sure it will be on the official calendar of the United Nations. So it's it's it <laughs> looks like a day that I uh, I am celebrating uh, something else uh, that is in me, which maybe I will tell you uh, in 2030. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it for that day. (laughs) (laughs) Let's discuss the fundamental purpose of Global Wellness Day. I love that you have this sort of listed. What are the fundamental purposes of Global Wellness Day? How do these aims, how do these aims encourage individuals to prioritize wellness in their lives? So that's to recognize the value of our lives. I don't know if you mm-hmm. want to share them or should should I share them and then we discuss or do you want to share them? Whatever you want. Whatever you like. Yeah, we said to recognize the value of our lives. And, yes. you know, obviously Global Wellness Day prompts individuals to reflect on the value and importance of their own lives, yes. fostering a deeper appreciation for their well-being. And uh, the other one is to pause and think, even if for just one day, of uh, of the year we yes. we try to encourage for pause and reflection because it encourages people to take a moment even if if it's just for one day to yeah. pause and reflect on their lifestyle choices and priorities uh, regarding wellness and this deciding to to to make um, changes yes. and to be free from stress of everyday city life and bad habits unfortunately So by advocating for a break from the stress of daily life and unhealthy habits, Global Wellness Day empowers individuals to reclaim control over their physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Uh, To make peace within ourselves, which is absolutely important, um, because with that, we emphasize the significance of making peace within ourselves, nurturing a sense of harmony and balance that is essential for overall wellness. To bring together nations in an inspiring mission. Uh, What we mean by that is obviously Global Wednesday serves as a unifying force, bringing together people from different nations and backgrounds under the inspiring mission of prioritizing um, wellness. And to spread the message that wellness is not a luxury, but a necessity, the inherent right of every individual, perhaps most importantly, it spreads the crucial message that wellness is not a luxury reserved for a privileged few, but rather a fundamental right for every individual. Yes. And by emphasizing this, Global Wellness Day strives to make wellness accessible and achievable 
for everyone, regardless of their circumstances and age and nation and uh, financial resources or whatever. Yeah, exactly. All the activities carried out under global lands, they are free of charge and uh, open to the public and uh, include the best practice of nutrition, happiness, breathing exercises, laughter and mindfulness yoga and mantra meditation, Pilates, ballet, drawing, painting, and more. And um, in fact, for 2024, yes. we have a wonderful guide, Magenta Nature messages and uh, event suggestions that you can find uh, on globalwednesday.org. Actually, yes, we'll provide that link as well. And I love mm -hmm. that. And I thought we could also walk through some of the wellness activities planned for Global Wellness Day 2024 and how participants can engage in the hashtag Magenta Nature movement. So if we want to review the steps, hashtag to hashtag Magenta Nature. Um, I love that you also delineate that as well on the website. It's wonderful. Not only your guide, but also mm -hmm. the steps about eating natural, be in nature, protect nature, and mm -hmm. be in nature spiritually. So maybe we could we could go through that um, if you wanted. Yeah, let's elaborate. The wellness activities such as sunrise yoga at the beach, forest bathing and meditation, beach and community cleanup, tree planting workshops, farm to table sustainable menus, healthy cooking courses, free community gardens, um, including five elements, sensory and dance workshops, sound healing, nature art therapy, and many more are planned to take place throughout the globe on Saturday, June 8th. And many of these activities guided by the pillars of our Hashtag Magenta Nature philosophy outline a transformative action plan encapsulating both the tangible and intangible dimensions of connecting with nature through four fundamental steps. And like you said, eat natural. We are encouraging everyone to immerse themselves in the nourishing embrace of natural foods. Yeah. Let your senses revel in the vibrant colors and flavors that the earth graciously offers and make every meal a celebration of the diverse wholesome gifts nature provides and be in nature step into the enchanting realm of outdoors whether it's a majestic forest a serene park or a quiet corner of your garden allow yourself to be surrounded by the living tapestry of nature and let the sun kiss your skin and breathe in the crisp air and let the symphony of nature's sounds become the backdrop to your daily life. Yeah. And make sure you protect nature. Become a guardian of the environment. We need that. Take conscious steps to reduce your ecological footprint and embrace sustainable practices, recycle and contribute to the well-being of the planet. And by protecting nature, you preserve the sanctity of our shared home for generations to come and being nature spiritually what we mean is that engage in spiritual practices that foster a deep connection with the natural world whether through meditation mindful contemplation or simply taking moments of just stillness in a natural setting and allow your spirit to intertwine with the essence of the earth and recognize that you're not separate from nature but an integral part of its grand tapestry yes. and let us embark on this journey together celebrating the vibrant hues of magenta nature and reconnecting with the extraordinary dance of the natural world that is around us yes i i just love that you know it's i think that what you've done here by uh, right, de, like writing these steps to the hashtag magenta nature and also creating the guide is that you've you've um you've weaved together this connection that we have intrinsically with mother earth do you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying that we are connected to nature 
And it's really, it's incredible because as we're reviewing these steps, I'm, I'm thinking about that and I'm seeing that very clearly. Yes. Like we don't always understand or reflect on how mm -hmm. connected we are. So, exactly. yeah. So can you elaborate on the meaning of, and now here, that takes me to this part, to my next question. Can you elaborate mm -hmm. on your meaning of hashtag magenta nature? Let's discuss the benefits of nature, the health benefits, and how do you define the concept mm -hmm. of hashtag magenta nature? So what, what are some of the health benefits do you think are associated with aligning our lifestyle with nature? Well, nature is the cosmic artwork flowing within you. And to connect with nature is to liberate oneself and become an integral part of the world. And like you said, connect with nature and feel the embrace of liberation and nurture for a healthier self. And connect with nature and uncover the shortcuts to happiness, joy, where nature stands as a radiant pathway. And forge a connection with nature and live as a seamless thread in its intricate tapestry. And do not let physical barriers obstruct your profound connection with nature. <coughs> Excuse me. And so connect with nature through the realms of your thoughts and dreams and allow the natural world to be your sanctuary where its beauty inspires and its rhythm guides. And in the symphony of existence, your connection with nature takes on the radiant hues of magenta. You become complete, uniting your soul and body in, in the embrace of nature. And connecting with nature is not just an activity, it's a it's a way of thinking. Those who choose to live will come to realize that connecting with nature is also a way of life, actually. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Your motto for Global Wellness Day is one day can change your whole life. Why is this the motto for Global hmm. Wellness Day? One day can change your whole life. <laughs> well, <clears throat> between 20... Between 2004 and 2012, I embarked on a journey of self-improvement, striving to become a healthier and happier version of myself. And by 2012, I had achieved a level of wellness that surpassed everything and I had experienced before. And a persistent whisper echoed in my mind, in my ear, urging me to consider my newfound perspective on life and its implications for the world. And one day while sitting in front of my computer, I decided to reach for, <coughs> sorry, when Global Wellness Day was celebrated. Yeah. And to my surprise, I found that such a day did not exist. And motivated by this revelation, I took action and organized a celebration at our hotel, then known as Wellness Day on the second Saturday of June. And in 2012, we hosted a modest event at Turkey's inaugural destination spa, Richmond Noir Wellness Spa, with around 150, 200 guests. Yeah. And the event featured a variety of activities, including physical exercises, nutrition workshops, and Reiki sessions, and skincare demonstrations. At the conclusion of the day, a middle-aged woman said, I did yoga for the first time today. I always thought yoga was for the fit and young people. I tried and I enjoyed it very much. And from today on, I'm starting yoga. And her words resonated deeply with me, prompting the realization of how one day can change a person's life, actually. Yes. So that night, uh, when I was in bed, I was thinking, you know, what just happened today? If only that woman makes uh, this change in her life and she starts doing yoga, She's a new person in a year. Yes. And people around her are, it's possible that they're going to change too because they're going to see the change in her. They're going to ask her questions. She's going to tell what she's doing. And if she's doing, if she's practicing yoga for one year, she's not going to stop there. She's going to add other good habits uh, right. or activities in her life. Yes. She's going to become a completely new person just because she attended Global Wellness Day event. Or, right. or celebration. So 
I said, oh my God, one day actually can change your whole life. And I thought my life has changed in, in one day as well. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay. So the slogan of Global Wellness Day is one day can change your whole life. Yes. And um, there, that's how the, the slogan actually came. It's not, it's not found by an agency or, or, or anything, or it's not like <laughs> a tool or anything like that. I just, right. I found in, in the bed looking to the ceiling <laughs> <laughs> it was writing on the ceiling oh no on the ceiling yeah. <laughs> I, I can say that let's review the global wellness day seven step manifest um the seven step manifest are i'll just we'll go over them sort of quickly uh the walk for an hour drink, drink more water don't use plastic bottles eat healthy food do a good deed have a family dinner with loved ones and sleep at 10 p.m. Well, I love those seven steps. Global Wellness Day, seven step manifesto serves a universal, serves as a universal guide to promote health and well-being, regardless of one's socioeconomic uh, resources. And each step was carefully crafted to be accessible and achievable for everyone aiming to bridge gaps in health and wellness across diverse communities. When we say walk for an hour, we're encouraging daily physical activity through walking, promoting cardiovascular health, you know, strengthening muscles and boosting mood, all without the need of expensive equipment or facilities, just just walk <laughs> and drink more water. And obviously hydration is essential for overall health and promoting the habit of drinking water encourages individuals to prioritize a basic yet vital aspect of self-care, again, regardless of their economic status. And even one more sip matters. And when you drink more water, you're actually gonna be drinking less um, tea or coffee or carbonated drinks. <laughs> don't use plastic bottles well this that not only promotes obviously environmental sustainability but also encourages mindful consumption habits advocating for alternatives that are both healthier for individuals and better for the planet yes. eat healthy food we kept it very simple that sentence changed like five times along the years but uh, we've been keeping eat healthy food. We've been emphasizing the importance of nutrition. Uh, this step encourages consuming nourishing foods that support overall health and well-being, regardless of budget constraints. And we, we actually all know what to eat and what not to eat. But yeah. we're a little bit confused, unfortunately. <laughs> Do a good deed. It's one of my favorite ones um you know fostering a sense of community and connection this step promotes acts of kindness and generosity which have been shown to improve mental and emotional well-being for both the giver and the receiver we we tend to think it's only for the receiver but it's actually well-being for the giver as well and have a family dinner with your loved ones we you know we would like to prioritize quality time with family because it promotes emotional bonds, communication, and support networks, which are essential for overall well-being and resilience. Sleep at 10 p.m. This is the hardest one, I know, especially for some countries that have dinner at 9 p.m. Uh, but promoting good sleep, hygiene, and adequate rest is crucial for physical and mental health and Setting a specific bedtime encourages individuals to prioritize sleep as an integral part of their wellness routine. So we should be sleeping at least between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. And because that's when we are releasing the growth hormone and uh, we should also be sleeping in pitch black dark. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, our, I love each and every one of those, and they're so, uh, you would think that they're like, you would know them, but it's just, they're really so important. I'm going to say them again, actually, they're so important. Walk for an hour, drink more water, don't use plastic bottles, eat healthy food, do a good deed, 
have a family dinner with loved ones and sleep at 10 p.m. And those are the Global Wellness Day seven step manifesto. So the seven steps to just a healthier life. And our philosophy is that true self-care relies on four pillars of a healthy lifestyle. And that's exercise, nutrition, rest, healing, and mindfulness meditation. And when these four pillars are in alignment, we can achieve harmony and equilibrium. What is your daily wellness and self-care routine? Hmm. I know. Well, it, well has it tweaked? Day, what's that? I know we've asked you before, how do you, have you tweaked it? Have you incorporated anything new? Well, um, something new? I don't think so. My daily wellness self-care routine, you know, revolves around nurturing both my body and soul, obviously. I prioritize waking up early, understanding the significance of quality of sleep, which I mentioned about 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. is very important yes. for the release of the growth hormones. And in the morning, I kickstart my day with a 40 minutes of at least 40 minutes of cardio on empty stomach and then 15 minutes of quiet self-reflection. And these moments of um, introspection are invaluable to me. They allow me to confront any inner disturbances and address them head on. Uh, for the past over seven years, I've uh, embraced a vegan diet, a plant-based diet, let's say. Oh. Uh, steering clear of packaged processed foods and refined sugars. Instead, I opt for nourishing alternatives like dates and prunes or dried figs. Um, I, you know, after a vibrant breakfast, I head to the office, which feels like my second home due to my genuine passion for what I do. Yes. And nature actually plays a central role in my well being. I find solace and equilibrium in activities like hiking especially walking climbing forest bathing and when i'm at, at home i uh, prioritize meaningful connections over passive entertainments whether it's spending quality time with my son if he's in the in istanbul and not in uh, in london where that's where he's studying or immersing myself in a good book and I cherish these moments of genuine connection yes. and growth. Um, I obviously have a skincare routine. That's also a reflection of my commitment to natural living. I opt for organic products and fill my body with um, ample water and uh, herbal teas. And for me, self-care isn't a luxury. It is a necessity. I firmly believe that Prioritizing my well-being is crucial, not just for myself, but for those around me and spending time with loved ones and fostering authentic relationships is at the core of my happiness and joy. I steer clear of artificiality and value, value genuine, pure connections above all else. Yeah, authenticity, right? <laughs> How do you exactly. believe that the integrating of the four pillars helps lead to harmony, happiness, longevity? How do you feel that, that we integrate our four pillars? Because it sounds like you <laughs> integrate them when you, you and even in your, your seven steps, the, the seven step manifesto. I mean, when you're drink more water is actually part of better nutrition. Most people don't drink enough water. Did you know that? Yeah. Yes. So, but how do you feel that that integrative, so integrating all of those, like your wellness routine and taking care of your self-care, mm -hmm. taking care of going for a hike, doing all of the things that you do, how do you feel that they lead to a happier, healthier life? I believe that each pillar of a healthy lifestyle plays a crucial role in nurturing overall well-being. And when balanced and integrated, they create a holistic approach to health that addresses the physical, mental, and emotional aspects of wellness. Yeah. And exercise strengthens the body. Nutrition provides essential fuel. Yes. Rest supports recovery. And mindfulness fosters mental clarity and emotional well-being. And the healing power of wellness, uh, a self-care tool for you, emphasizes 
the importance of self-care through practices like mindfulness, nutrition, rest, and exercise, promoting overall well-being, and encouraging individuals to prioritize their health and happiness. Yes, yes. And science-based evidence shows that the more wellness and self-care tools and techniques that you have, the more you not only learn about yourself and what works best for your life, but that can help you live a better, happier, longer, harmonious life. Mm -hmm. I want to share an excerpt from my book, Sonia's Ring, 11 Ways to Heal Your Heart. And I shared this before, but I'm going to also share it uh, this uh, now as well. Physical and spiritual well-being is necessary for life and growth. It is what helps to keep us alive, maintains and nourishes love, faith, hope, perseverance, compassion, and kindness. All of this is available for you. So reach out and grab what is yours. Is there any particular message that you would like to make sure we communicate and share with our worldwide audience? To me, wellness encompasses the entirety of one's being physical, mental, and emotional health. It's the journey of self-discovery, the equilibrium of body and soul. It defines our quality of life, and influencing how we perceive ourselves, how we interact with others, and our overall sense of contentment. Wellness is about embracing oneself, fostering kindness towards oneself and others, and maintaining respect for oneself and the environment. It's about taking ownership of one's well-being and refusing to relinquish that control to others. Yes, absolutely. Well, mm -hmm. Bikin, thank you so much for joining us on Tita Talks. Thank you for discussing the hashtag Magenta Nature, Global Wellness Day 2024, and the healing power of wellness, a self-care tool for you. And for more information, then please go to www.wellnessworldusa.com, www.tetatalks.com, and follow us on Instagram at wellnessworldusa, at Tita Talks Official, at We Love Tita Talks, at Sonia Tita Popolo. And for more information about Belgina Axoy and Global Wellness Day, then please go to www.globalwellnessday.org and follow Global Wellness Day on Instagram at Global Wellness Day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. All right.